Esme, you're a genius. All that makeup stuff really did bring Indora out of hiding like you said it would. Yeah, I might be an overly medicated, always inebriated sexaholic, but I know what makes little girls curious. <laughs> Indeed you do. Why? Why isn't the makeup moving now? Oh, well, isn't it obvious? And Dora must be looking in the mirror to see how she looks. You know, just because we can't see her doesn't mean she can't see herself. Okay, so, 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 so now's the perfect time to grab her. Okay, all right. So let, let, let it spread out, and we'll come at her from both sides. Okay, okay. watch it up. Okay. can ask me anything. I'll, I'll answer you honestly. Am I, the, am I the man that you're talking about? The man that you hope to be with one day but can't right now? Just, just please tell me anything. You know. Are you in love with me? doing here, Vincent? Why am I carrying this sack? Patience, my young and lovely partner in crime. The sacks are part of my plan to take care of all of our problems in harmony. Yes, I know. Okay. We're going to kill everyone at the rehearsal dinner for the huge wedding. Ethan and Gwen and Noah and Paloma and Miguel and Kay and Luis and Fancy and Julian and Eve and blah, blah, blah. But how are we going to kill them all? With poison. We are going to poison everyone in harmony. Poison? What a horrible way to die. <laughs> yes, a horrible way to die. And so fun to watch. Dora, and Dora, please make yourself visible again. Come to mommy. Oh, come on, little girl. Give yourself up. I've given myself up plenty of times. It can be fun, especially if there's whipped cream involved. Uh, please, uh, d uh, Endora does not need to hear about your sordid past. Okay, sordid is a very strong word, and actually, Tabitha, the only reason we've been close to finding Endora is because of me. You're right. I'm sorry. Uh, and I'm sorry I doubted your plan. Yes, Endora did come out to see all this girly stuff, all the makeup on the table. But now, we see, I know some things, Tabitha. Most of them involve lubricants, but I remember what it was like to be a little girl. <laughs> Please be careful what you say in front of my daughter. I'm sorry, but, you know, it seems like she's gone. Oh, no, don't say that. She was here. She was here. We both saw her at the makeup table. She's there. She's over there in that corner. Endora, Endora, oh, please, please make yourself visible again. You know what's going to happen, don't you? Disaster's coming to harmony. Disaster eight years in the making. Oh, come on. We have to, we have to leave now before every living thing in harmony is destroyed. Oh. Ow. Oh. Brie, you can't go around angry like this all the time. She has so far. Shut up! She's right. You're not helping. That is why I hate you, Fancy. You've always been so smug, acting like you're better than me all the time. Well, you're not! It's all in your mind. It always has been. Oh, my God. If Pretty really throws acid in Fancy's face... She'll be disfigured, and I'll be able to win Louis back. No, Ethan was right. Schemes don't work. Louis has to come back to me because he wants to. I didn't imagine my scar. Just like you won't imagine yours. No! Am I the man you were talking about? Of course you're the man, Ethan. But I can't tell you. I have to keep my identity hidden because of Juanita a threat to my family. We could all be killed. Gertrude, please talk to me. Tell me, um, uh, am I the man that you hope to have a future with? What? 
does love have to be so difficult? Am I the one you love? Am I? Teresa has to be Gertrude. I mean, she has to be, right? No, I'm sure of it. I'm, I'm absolutely sure of it that Teresa is, is Gertrude. What? Are you sure, Gwen? I mean, Teresa? Gertrude? Oh, my God. What? What is this? Oh. Oh, my God. My God! Okay, now I have heard... I've heard about insects winding up in imported fruit, but teeth? Teeth do not come in cherries, Ethan. This is disgusting. This is the kind... Oh. These are the kind of teeth that people use when they're trying to disguise themselves. Oh. Looking for these, Gertrude. What's going on? So who the hell are you? And what do you want? Yeah. I'm sure, but Teresa is definitely Gertrude. I mean, think about it. It certainly explains everything, and, and being Gertrude would allow her access to Ethan and the children. Oh, my God. And you know what? I bet you little Ethan has known this entire time, which is why he's been acting so brazen, which is why he turned me blue and made up that stupid DVD. Oh, and if little Ethan knows, then so does Pilar. Oh, ah. Gwen, you're right. Teresa is Gertrude. Figured it out. Teresa is Gertrude. Hmm? Teresa is Gertrude. Teresa, Teresa is Gertrude. Gertrude. Oh. Oh. Oh, and we are so going to make her pay. We are going to make her pay for torturing you. Oh, she's going to wish the sharks had eaten her by the time we're done with her. Some water, flush that acid off her face. Oh, call 911. It's all over. Are you fancy? All right, someone pick up, please. Someone pick up. Here we go. That's what's happening. That's what's happening to Fancy's face right now. The acid's it's eating through the flesh. I finally got my revenge. Gonna find it now. Fancy, please, please. It's too late. She's like me now. She's damaged. No good. No more men. No more magazine covers. Except maybe Freaks Monthly. Do shut up. Yes, yes, this is Sheridan Crane. We need an ambulance up at Crane Mansion right away. My niece was just hit in the face with acid. Please hurry. Nancy, please. I'm trying to wipe the acid off of your face. Please. Nancy, please. Don't listen to pretty. Let us try to help you. Please. What? What? You're okay. No. 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 This is incredible. Oh. Yeah. Teresa is Gertrude. <laughs> Whoa. 
what? You know what? This is all your fault. You are the one who made it possible for Teresa to pass herself off as Gertrude, mother. This is your fault. Oh, no. No, you're, you're not the man that I was talking about. I'm so sorry. What was I thinking? God, I'm full of myself. <laughs> I mean, I, why would I have any reason to think that I was the man that you loved? That... No, it's, it's okay. I, I totally see why you felt that. No, thanks for trying to make me feel better, but I think I've officially lost my mind, Gertrude. Um, there's no reason for me to think that you would love me, would it? Have... Well, why wouldn't a woman love you? I mean, you're an amazing man. I mean, any woman would be lucky to be with you. That's very sweet of you. Well, I'm just saying what I mean. You know, you're wonderful. I, I see you with the children. I, I see you with Gwen. You have no idea what that does to me, seeing the way that you love. Maybe if it were another place or another time, things would be different for us. No. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. I threw acid on you. Your face is supposed to be destroyed. But it isn't pretty. I'm fine. Uh, I'm so worried about you, but you're all right, right? Yes, Louise, I'm fine. Uh. Hey, you know what? I'll uh, I'll cancel that call to 911. That was a close one. Yes, this is Sheridan Crane. About my call earlier, it was a mistake. I'm sorry. Thank you. No, this isn't, this isn't how I planned it. Nancy's face is destroyed, and the, the Louise is gonna dump her. I'm supposed to get my revenge. You are not supposed to be oh, Louise. Right. I love him. He's supposed to be mine. He's supposed to be mine. You can't be happy with him, Fancy. You can't. <laughs> so, what do these burlap bags have to do with poisoning everyone at the rehearsal dinner? Why are we out here on the wharf? The bags are for the poison mushrooms. Poison mushrooms? Are we going to buy them somewhere? Some new age earth market that makes you bring your own grocery bags? Do they sell them in bulk? Actually, we are going to pick them. Pick them? <laughs> really, where? Mushrooms grow in the woods. In fields. We're not gonna find any mushrooms on the wharf. I mean, I don't even see any trees or grass anywhere. And I knew I shouldn't have teamed up with you, Vincent. You're not only crazy, you're stupid. Louise, Louise is mine. He's supposed to be my skin. How did this happen? I had I had perfect position, and then I threw the, the acid and it it went fancy space. God, how did I miss? You missed because Sheridan hits your arm, pretty. What? Thank you, Not Sheridan. Thank you so much. Your quick reaction saved Fancy. No. You're a hero, Sheridan. No, 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 no! Don't think her. She, she's not a hero. She didn't save anyone. What are you talking about? Sheridan saved Fancy from you. No, 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 no! That, that's a laugh. She didn't do anything like that. She didn't try to stop me. Uh, yeah, she did. She hit your arm. No, you don't understand, Louise. Sheridan knew exactly what I was going to do. That's right. I went over. I went over to Aunt Sheridan's house, and and, and I talked to her about it. And she knew that I was going to come here and scar Fancy, and she was all right with it. She was all right with it. And she was all right with it. And she came here, and she knew everything. Is that true, Sheridan? Did you know what she was going to do? You really are a wonderful man. But I was talking about someone else. I'm, I'm so sorry I misled you. No, Gertrude, you didn't mislead me. And I'm very sorry. I feel like a big idiot right now. Oh, don't feel like that. <laughs> well, I, I better go see how Gwen is doing. 
And again, I'm sorry. Will we ever be together? Won't wanting to ever be caught. As long as she's on the loose, I can't tell anyone that I'm alive. No one can know, especially not Gwen and Rebecca. You can't possibly blame me for Teresa disguising herself as Gertrude. You hired her. Well, so did Ivy. Mother, you were so sure of yourself. You said you were doing the right thing. You were trying to do me a favor, right? You were going to hire a nanny who was so unattractive, Ethan would never be attracted to her. And what do you do? You hired Teresa. How could we know that Teresa was really Gertrude? I mean, nobody else figured it out, and Ivy certainly didn't. And, you know, Ivy hates Teresa just as much as we do. All right, fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be mad at you. Yeah, if you want to be mad at someone, you should be mad at Teresa for not dying. Even that shark wouldn't eat her. That should tell you something about Teresa. Okay, fine. So now we know she's alive. We know she's in the mansion. What are we supposed to do? I got it. I know exactly what we should do about Teresa. Sheridan knew. She knew exactly what I was going to do. Enough. Did you know? Did you know what she was going to do? What is that? It's acid. What? An eye for an eye. A face for a face, Aunt Sheridan. It's perfect. I'm going to do exactly to her what she did to me. I'm going to throw acid in her face. Oh, my God. Can you picture her, her beautiful face of bloody mess? No, you can't. I have to. And Sharon, I have to destroy Fancy's life exactly the way she destroyed mine. Look, Pretty was ranting earlier in the cottage. She had all these different ideas. And, I mean, I didn't think she was serious. Who would? Who, who would think a woman would, would actually throw acid in her own sister's face? so sorry. And I, I didn't think she was serious. I, I thought she was just blowing off steam. I mean, I didn't think she would actually do it. If I, if I thought she would do it, I, I would have come running to the two of you immediately. But after finding out that she was just faking her pregnancy tonight, I thought the two of you would, you know, anyway, I'm sorry. I feel horrible. It's not your fault. Yeah, don't blame yourself. Uh, what? <laughs> Wait a second. You can't. You can't believe her. She. She knew. She knew. She should have warned you or something. She didn't do it. She didn't do anything. She is just as bad as me. Can't you see that? Endora? Endora, where are you? Are you here? Yeah, uh, your mommy only wants what's best for you. Shh. What is it? Did you hear? No. Sorry. It was just one of the voices in my head reminding me of an appointment tomorrow. Oh, this is useless. We're never going to find her like this. There's no point even going on looking for her. She's as stubborn as I was at her age. She won't show herself until she's good and ready. I'm sorry, Tabitha. Oh. I need a drink. <gasps> Bless you. Me too. In fact, I can't remember a time where I ever didn't need a drink. <laughs> or two. <laughs> oh, cheers. <laughs> Oh, that is wonderful. Uh -huh. Uh, it is so fun having a witch for a friend. It's almost as nice as having a pharmacist for a friend. <laughs> oh, you know, I don't know what I would do if I knew that something horrible was going to happen and I couldn't find poor, sweet, innocent Vicky. 
Vicky isn't as innocent as you think, dear. Far from it, in fact. You are delusional. You can't pick mushrooms on the wharf. Next, are we going to go hunt for deer in the harbor? Mushrooms can grow anywhere there is organic material, Vicky. Like wood? Wood is organic. Fungi are the key to killing all of our enemies, Vicky. Still think I'm stupid. This is it, right? This is my thing. And she's carving these. I'm going through the house. What should we do about her? her? Tell me, and then share it, and then it's at their house. Well, first, we should wait till she calms down. No, and we should get her some help. She get her into a straitjacket. She looks so pitiful. Nancy. Earlier when <clears throat> she threw the acid at you, you were crying, but it didn't hit you. Yeah, we, we thought you were hurt. Well, I wasn't hurt physically. I just wanted to give her a taste of her own medicine, but to see my sister hate me so much... To see her living in such a twisted reality, thinking I would do something to her on purpose. Thinking I wanted to hurt her. I mean, I did this to her. I made up this horrible monster that wanted to destroy me. And this is all my fault. It's me. I'm gonna leave the knees he's all packed. Yeah, we're, we're ready to go. Why did this happen? Why couldn't I have that happy ending with Ethan? Well, what is it? What should we do about Teresa? Call Juanita. Call Juanita immediately. She's not stable. Okay. Pretty, please. Just listen to me. I am so sorry. Hey, come on. This is not your fault, okay? You tried to talk to her so many times, she just doesn't listen. Why would I listen to Fancy? She's a liar. She deserves to pay for what she did to me. It is one thing to pretend that you were pregnant, okay? But it is another to throw acid on her. You could have killed her. You understand that? No. This was wrong. No, no, no! It was right. I was right. She scarred me for life. She ruined my face for life. 
she ruined my face for life. I, I deserve to get my revenge. I deserved it. I was right to get it. And Dora. Oh, she's a pistol, my little Endora. Do you have any children, Esme? I mean, apart from um, being responsible for your niece, of course. Oh, not that I know of. You know, I didn't think I had the mother gene in me until Vicky became my responsibility. But since then, I have been nothing but responsible. <laughs> yes. Mm. It's strange, isn't it? It changes you. I mean, you make so many sacrifices, but you don't mind at all. Not at all. <laughs> you know, I have changed so much since Vicky came to live with me. I have even delayed taking my morning lithium until I drop Vicky off at school in the mornings. <laughs> well, most days. Mm. Refill, please. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> mm. Oh. You know, Vicky has been through so much trauma, even before she came to Harmony, what with losing her parents and all. And then ever since she's been here, it's been nothing but murder and mayhem. I mean, first Fox was killed, and then all the other murders, like the cat man and the policeman and Santa and Alistair and, and Julian being mutilated. Oh, God, she has seen so much horror. Vicky has been the cause of so much horror in Harmony. She's been a busy little bee. Come to think of it, maybe Vicky has something to do with all the disasters that are coming to Harmony right now. I'm sorry I doubted you, Vincent. I shouldn't have called you names. Now forget it. You're under a lot of pressure. Now we're going to have differences at times. All partners do. What's important is that we stick to the business of killing. I'm all for that. And start picking the mushrooms. Once we feed these to everyone at the rehearsal dinner, we'll have achieved the main goal of our partnership. The death of all of our enemies. Pretty. I'm sorry I couldn't get through to you. God, I should have been able to stop this. Stop, Pretty? No, no. There's no way you could have stopped her. You did everything you could. But More than most would have in the same it, situation. What? Stop! Stop, stop, stop! Stop taking her side! She's the bad one, and I am the good one. I'm the victim here. I, I'm the one who's scarred. I'm the one with nobody to love me. I'm the one she did this to! No, stop! You are not the victim here. What are you talking about? You've been keeping... A secret, pretty. A huge secret. I don't know what you mean. It's time for Fancy and Louise to know the truth. Isn't it pretty? The truth. We are going to call Juanita. She will take care of Teresa for us. Mother, we cannot do that. And believe me, as much as I would love to see Teresa dead, calling Juanita would start a bloodbath. She would kill the entire Lopez Fitzgerald family, and I just cannot let innocent children die. As much as little Ethan is the biggest pain in the neck, he's still a child. And there's Jane, and what about Jonathan? All right, all right, well, we'll, we'll tell her to spare the children. We can keep them safe. Well, what if we can't? We can, I promise you. But there's only one way to deal with Teresa. Deal with Teresa? What are you talking about? Secret? I, I don't have a secret, Sheridan. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, what secret could she have? We already know that she was faking her pregnancy. Yeah, is there another secret? One thing I learned about love, about life, is that honesty is the only way to find peace. Secrets of any kind only cause pain and heartache. Lies are always wrong. You're, you're nuts. And, and you're a liar. I'm just, I'm getting out of here. Hey, wait a second. You're not going anywhere. Not until we get to the bottom of this. I 
wish I could have protected Vicky from all the horror that's happened in Harmony. Yes, well, Vicky doesn't need protecting, I can assure you. Okay, what, what does that mean? Let me tell you something about your poor, innocent Vicky. Something that will curl your toes. So, how do we get everyone to eat the mushrooms? Just hand them out like as hors d'oeuvres? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Nothing that obvious. I've come up with something much more stuff. Okay. You and I are going to be preparing a wonderful sauce for the filet mignon. Mmm, so tasty. Let me guess. A mushroom sauce? Oh, yeah. A mushroom sauce to die for. Get it? <laughs> to die for? <laughs> Hey, you're not going anywhere. Let go of me! Look, honesty is the only way to make love work. Please, do not talk to me about honesty. I know you were after Luis and Fancy. Hey, you wanted Luis for yourself, so don't act so high and mighty. Hey, I learned my lesson. Trying to come between a couple in love for selfish reasons never works in the long run. Stop lecturing me. You're going to learn something pretty. You're going to learn that keeping secrets and trying to play the victim doesn't work either. What is this secret, Sheridan? I'll show you. I'll show you Pretty's huge secret. What are you two talking about? Dealing with Teresa, what does that mean? Oh, um... Oh, well, you see, Ethan, um... What? Gertrude, I'm so happy you're here. We have so much to talk about. Oh? Oh, what do we have to talk about? Excuse me, I'd like an answer to my question. Okay, what did you mean when you said uh, you need to deal with Teresa? Deal with Teresa? Yeah, when I walked in, Gwen and uh, Rebecca were talking about dealing with Teresa. Now I'd like to know what that means. What were you talking about? I don't really know how to tell you this, Esme. It, it isn't something anyone wants to hear about a loved one, but Hades knows Julian and Eve didn't want to hear the truth about Benson, but here goes, for better or for worse. Here is the truth about Vicky. She's a serial killer. Esme? Esme? Oh, my devil. <laughs> She's asleep. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, for a party girl. <laughs> she sure can't hold her martinis. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Mr. President. I can pay for my own dry cleaning. <laughs> This girl has led a very interesting life. <laughs> Thank you for helping me try to find Endora Esme. I, I do appreciate it. I think you might as well sleep this off in your own bed. But don't you worry, you won't be sleeping alone because I'll zap Brad Pitt into bed beside you just to keep you company. <laughs> well, that's that. And Dora, and Dora, sweet pea, where are you? Please show yourself. We. We have to leave here. We have to leave Harmony before disaster hits. A disaster that's 
been eight years in the making. If we don't get out, we'll die. We'll die like everyone else. Hmm. It looks like enough, Vicky. Enough of the sauce. And you're sure this will work? Uh, cooking the mushrooms won't take the poison out of them, will it? Oh, no, it won't. Actually, cooking the mushrooms helps release the poison. It makes it even more toxic. Cool. After we kill everyone at this rehearsal dinner, Vicky, we're going to be legends. Living legends. I don't care about being a legend. I just want to make sure that no one ever takes Esme from me. There will be no one left to take Esme from you. Because they're all going to be dead. Are you ready, Pretty? Are you ready to tell Luis and Fancy your secret? I don't have a secret. You're bluffing. Oh, am I? Hey, 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 hey. Enough. Okay? Now, what's this about a secret? You can't play the victim anymore. You're nuts. You're nuts. You're nuts. I don't know what you mean. After I reveal your secret, Luis and Fancy will know how you've been manipulating them for years and that your mental illness goes deeper than anyone thought possible. Oh my God, Sheridan, what's going on? You know, you could have been happy, pretty. But no, you chose to stay angry, to be bitter. Shut up! Just shut up! I will not shut up! Because it's over! It is all over! No! 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 A fake scar. That is Pretty's secret. Her scar is fake. Why are you staring at me like that? I mean, you're making me nervous. I would like an answer to my question. What, what did you mean when you said you needed to deal with Teresa? Well, Ethan, I think uh, Gertrude here can answer all your questions about Teresa. Can't you, Gertrude? Well, I haven't even met Teresa, so how could I even answer questions about her? Well, why don't you just tell us everything you know about Teresa, Gertrude? Or if you'd rather, I can do it for you. 